Are we really able to revive the dead? This question has plagued humanity for centuries. And while it may seem like a far-fetched idea, recent advancements in science and technology are making it possible. In this video, we delve deep into the topic of reviving the dead and the latest research that is being conducted in this field. We explore the different methods that scientists are using to bring life back into the dead, including cryopreservation, organ transplantation, and stem cell therapy. Reviving the dead has been a topic of fascination and curiosity for centuries. People have long wondered if it is possible to bring back someone who has passed away. This question has sparked many discussions, debates, and even movies about whether or not it's ethical to bring the dead back to life. While the idea of reviving the dead may seem like science fiction, recent advancements in technology and medicine are making it more of a possibility. In fact, some experts believe that we are closer than ever before to reviving the dead. One of the most promising methods of reviving the dead is cryopreservation. This involves freezing the body or brain immediately after death to preserve it until a time when it can be revived. The idea behind this technique is that by freezing the body, we can preserve the brain and the neural connections within it, making it possible to bring the person back to life in the future. The process of cryopreservation is complex and requires a great deal of care and expertise. The body or brain is cooled to a temperature of minus 196 degrees Celsius using liquid nitrogen. This temperature is so low that it effectively stops all biological processes in the body, preventing any further decay or damage. Once the body or brain has been frozen, it is stored in a cryogenic storage facility until it can be revived. Currently, there are several cryogenic storage facilities around the world that offer this service to people who want to be cryopreserved after death. While cryopreservation is a promising technique, it is not without its challenges. One of the biggest challenges is the potential for damage to the brain and neural connections during the freezing process. If the brain is damaged during cryopreservation, it may be impossible to revive the person in the future. Another promising technique for reviving the dead is organ transplantation. This involves removing the organs of the deceased and transplanting them into a living person. While this doesn't involve reviving the entire body, it is still a way to bring life back from the dead in some sense. Organ transplantation has been used for decades to save the lives of people who would otherwise die without a transplant. However, using this technique to revive the dead is still in the early stages of development. Researchers are currently working to refine the technique to make it more effective in reviving the dead. Stem cell therapy is another promising area of research in the field of reviving the dead. By using stem cells to regenerate damaged tissue and organs, scientists believe that they may be able to bring people back from the brink of death. Stem cells have the ability to differentiate into different types of cells, making them an important tool in regenerative medicine. By using stem cells to repair damaged tissue and organs, scientists hope to one day be able to revive people who have suffered from a wide range of medical conditions. While the idea of reviving the dead is exciting, it's important to consider the ethical implications of such technology. Bringing someone back from the dead would have profound implications for society, religion, and our understanding of life and death. One of the main ethical concerns with reviving the dead is the impact it could have on our understanding of death. Death is a natural part of life. And many people believe that it is an important part of the human experience. Reviving the dead could potentially diminish the importance of death and change our understanding of what it means to be alive. Another ethical concern with reviving the dead is the potential for overpopulation. If we are able to bring people back from the dead, it could lead to a significant increase in the global population. This could have serious consequences for the environment, resources, and quality of life for everyone. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, publish it, and press the like button, as this helps us a lot in publishing more wonderful inventions and more technology.